Well, fine. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I'm in Barrie, Vermont today, and this is Hope Cemetery. Now, I don't know this family of Vanetti, but my gosh, look at the size of this mausoleum. We know that in the Greek order of columns, this is a Doric column. It's, it's uh, the most basic version of a column. It, they are fluted, means it has those ridges. See the ridges? Not just for ruffles. Anyway, I'm a little tired, so I'm a bit punchy. My apologies if I'm offending anyone. That's not my goal. Um, anyway, they're uh, fluted here, uh, so it does make it lovely. And it looks like they blow out a bit in the center, but maybe that's an optical illusion. I don't think I see that in the camera, but I see it in my, with my eyes. Now over here we have a flag, World War I veteran. Wow. Wow, that's insane. Let's do a walk around. You see there are vents, there are three on this side. One there, two down here. Oh, we see there is a, oh, the Last Supper. <laughs> the Last Supper is back here. There are no vents on this side, I'm guessing because the crypts on, are on here. Uh, we can see the base. We're not supposed to be able to see that. Hmm. Then over here, there are three vents over here, too. Two down here, one up there. And uh, for those who like all the photos of the place, I'd like to provide them. This one says a Vietnam War, War veteran. <sighs> We can see the door stops also. That's a beautiful door. What kind of metal is that? It's definitely polished. Has granite, um, gray granite. In fact, all of the headstones, all the monuments here are made from the berry gray granite. Did you know that about one third of all headstones and uh, Grave markers in the U.S. are, are uh, berry granite. Pretty amazing. I don't think we're going to be able to see in there. Mm. Well, we can sort of see the stained glass. Also, it has been estimated that about 75% of the graves here the monuments here were carved by the people who were buried beneath them. <sighs> wow. You can read more about that on my website, travelingforhistory.com, to find out more. All right. Um, let's go over here. I didn't know anything about the uh, Zampiri family, but uh, I can show you the uh, flowers and their uh, mausoleum. And the word mausoleum, by the way, comes from King Mausolus of uh, is it, India. Um, in case you're wondering where the word came from, it came from a person's name. Then uh, over here we have the Zampiri family. I can't get up past the, uh, it wouldn't be safe for me to try to get past this urn. But these are petunias. A hybrid petunia that does not think to be deadheaded. Oh, yay. And the wreath is plastic. Uh, we can see uh, here a World War II veteran. And in fact, it says here uh, Tulio Zampiri, Corporal U.S. Army, World War II. August 28, 1962 to July 27, 2014. 
X, Prisoner of War, Battle of the Bulge. So what I'll say about the, the Battle of the Bulge is my Uncle Bob enlisted in the army, lied about his age, he was 15, and why his parents allowed him, my grandparents allowed him to go ahead and, and go, I don't know. But uh, supposedly he survived the Battle of the Bulge because he was knocked unconscious and uh, he awoke under a pile of dead bodies. That's a terrible story, I know, but it's also true. That's well, a family story anyway, I presume it's true. We have um, vents on this side. We have some sort of stained glass over here. No vents, so that's telling me the bodies are up against this wall. Hmm. Well, it looks like their letter Z is right there. So I guess it's not a typically religious ones I've seen. You know, Last Supper and Jesus Christ. Vents over here on this side. Uh, four total, two at the top and two at the bottom. And then we're back to the front again. All right. Pretty interesting, though. And uh, anyway, I would really love it if you would subscribe to my channel. It's your job. You need to subscribe. I would appreciate it anyway if you did. And to the 217 you already have, thank you so much. Wow. I can't even begin to tell you how much I, I love that. You can follow me on all the social media. I'm uh, everywhere you want to be and probably every place you are. Um, so anyway, until I see you again, this is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.